You want to go live now to Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. That's where we find SNN's Lyndon Blake, and she has more on the actions taken there after the Fort Lauderdale shootings. Good evening, Lyndon. Good evening, Grant. Well, Mr. Piccolo, the CEO with the SRQ Airport, said he's been at four different airports in his career, and he's never seen anything like what happened today in Fort Lauderdale at a baggage claim. He said SRQ Airport just went under major renovations after the attack in Brussels, but now it's time for more. Well, I think airports in general will look at what they do in their security procedures. We did this after the Brussels attack at the Brussels airport. We looked at all our security, made a number of changes. Uh, you'll see behind us that there's bollards in front of all the, all the doors to stop any cars from coming into the terminal with explosives. The, every one of these windows is coated with a special coating to keep the glass from blowing away in a blast. And then we created the tactical officers that we have deployed throughout the terminal. We bought more long rifles. And, and so we always have a tactical officer on duty when flights are on the ground. What we did after this incident in Fort Lauderdale is we deployed more tactical officers and we'll continue to do that probably right through the weekend and into next week. The tactical officers here had new machine guns that they're carrying around outside the airport over by the baggage claim and walking even out into the parking lot they said they were new guns. And again, Piccolo said the gun that the suspect was carrying in baggage claim was transported legally. He went into a bathroom and put the ammo in the gun before he started firing.